doesn't mean you can, oh, I'm so sorry, I have to say something. If you can speak, you can breathe, yeah. right? Um, and you describe this as a very dangerous proposition, right? Yes. yes. You describe this as causing a false sense of security to people, right? That's how Correct. you Correct. Yep. Right. And in fact, in your report, you actually uh, write a paragraph about how physicians oftentimes uh, have trouble with this, right? Yes. And so people who've, similar to yourself, attended medical school, mm -hmm. right? I'm sorry, you have to say yes. yes. I'm sorry, terribly sorry. No yeah. problem. Yes. Um, so, in, you know, intelligent men and women who've graduated from college, gone on to medical school, and uh, are engaged in the practice of medicine, sometimes uh, have problems with this notion, right? Yes. They, a patient comes in and says that they're having trouble breathing, and oftentimes a physician will uh, not believe them, essentially. It's it's important, Mr. Nelson, I, to make sure we're we're talking about speech or difficulty in breathing because they're different. Right. Well, you, you you write in your report that some doctor, Minneapolis police officer, testified that it is frequently said and trained to police officers that a person can talk, it means they can breathe. You would have a problem with that. You would, yes, I mean they're able to breathe at that moment in time, but ten seconds later they may be dead. And because <clears throat> dealing with any person is a rapidly evolving situation that can change from second to second. Yes. Muscular, it's going to have less of an impact. Yeah. All right. But again, in terms of what we have learned about Mr. Floyd from his autopsy and his medical records, is that we understand that Mr. Floyd had some heart disease, right? That is correct. In fact, I believe uh, that he had uh, in his, some of his arteries somewhere between a 75 and 90 percent occlusion of his ventricular arteries, right? Correct. And that's going to affect blood flow in, the, in, a, in a person, right? It's going to make the body work a little harder to get the blood through the body. Not, no, not really. It's not going to do that. Okay. This, how does that affect a person's Respiratory. The, the coronary artery? Mm -hmm. If the coronary artery is affecting it, and if the coronary artery was contributing to shortness of breath, you would expect that he would be complaining of chest pain, and you would be expect that he would be demonstrating a very rapid respiratory rate. We don't see either.